Welcome everyone to another Let's Play. This time it's DuckTales Remastered. I think it's been over a year now since I've... Uh, no, I think it has been about a year since I've recorded DuckTales on the channel. So I've decided why not the remaster? Alright. Now, a few things that are going to happen right here. Well, actually, no. <laughs> uh... I did record this earlier on extreme difficulty. The one issue I had though is that um, I'm out of, I was really out of practice. And extreme difficulty disables auto, disables saving of any kind, so that was a bad idea. But nah, so this is go ahead on hard difficulty. Let's begin. I shall uh, <clears throat> get up in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth! Hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Alright, welcome to the money bin. This is a unique stage added in for the remaster. It's also the tutorial for this, and uh, I will be going quiet because there are also some cutscenes that do show up, so... So yeah, the money bin is pretty much just the Mama, tutorial so for I, I, I for this game. <laughs> oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomach ache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here too. Better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. You might be in trouble. Alright, uh, let's see. What, is, what, what else was I saying? <clears throat> uh, I do actually have an interesting story with this game. Uh, when the game came out, which was in 2013. Uh, I didn't really want to pick it up at the time because it was digital only. So, I decided, you know, I'll pick it up later, but just not right now. So, I waited. Uh, then I heard that there was going to be a physical release for the game, and I was actually excited for that. Because I do love the game, and I do like. What I do like having a physical copy if I can get the chance at the time. So the physical copy drops, I go pick it up. And well, here's the thing. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance! Mm. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! 
Hey, I did. Hey, you hunt like? Nah, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. So I get my copy and it, I don't remember the price. I don't know that it was like about five dollars higher than. Oh, I missed that treasure. I do remember that it was about like five dollars more than the digital copy, and I didn't really care too much about it because again, I love the game. I'll, and uh, I'll pay for like a physical copy of it. So. I take it home, I open it up, and... Oh, nice. And I get something I was not expecting. I get a pin. The cover does say you'll get a pin. But that was all that was inside it. A pin. And a piece of paper with a code for the digital copy of the game. I was more laughing to myself about it, and even the box art itself says uh, digital only, so I guess I didn't really think about it at the time. But it was just, to me it was one of those moments where I knew I was going to get it. Do I regret getting it? No. I seriously don't regret getting it like that. Hurry up, Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lads. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Top. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Tilt. One false move and I'm a worse duck. Leave me, up, Scrooge! It's not worth it! Nonsense, me boy. So I, I could have just maybe bought the uh, digital version instead of having to pay an extra five dollars, but a fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. But I'm not too mad about it. It was just a surprise that happened like that it happened like that. I'll, I'll post like a I think I'll put up an image just to show like the the case art and the pin just to show how it looks. Step away from me fortune you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Alright, the first boss is, uh, I think it was called, I think his name was Big Time. He pretty much has a helmet on him that you can't do any damage with the polo stick. But, so what you have to do is you have to let, wait for Buckworth to not only hang a safe over, you have to wait for Big Time to actually throw something at you. He'll either throw it low or he'll throw it high. You just gotta watch the arc when he throws it. Not a difficult boss fight, but it's more just to keep you on your toes on how you move and everything. Curse you, Mutt Duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Frick it, dude! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. 
I'm no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only I could Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something's screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. All right, and now we get to the five original levels, but they're not the same as before. They have been changed. Uh, we do have this hub though, so just to show off a few things. Like uh, right here, we can actually see some concept art and all of that. One of the things that Extreme does that. Higher difficulties don't is that the game changes the uh, soundtrack to what you hear. To uh, well, it changes it from this. stream just to hear the original soundtrack but this is a remaster I want to show off the new stuff but yeah extreme difficulty does add new music to the game and before I call this apart I want to show one I want to show off one more thing Pretty much what every kid wanted to do when they watched the show. This also um, tracks how much treasure you've got and also holds the five treasures we will, we will be getting. Alright, so I'm gonna call this a part right here. I'll see you guys next time in the Amazon.